Hello everybody. So now uh, today again with the MM, MMPC 011 social process and the behavioral issues. And uh, today I have to discuss about the block four as emerging trends. The unit 13, unit 14, and unit 15. Unit 13 is organizational inclusiveness. And unit 14 is your diversity management. And you need 15 is your positive approaches to work with. So first, uh, we'll try to understand the original inclusiveness. Then after that, subsequently, you have to discuss about the diversity and what are the trends going on for the positive approaches. So original inclusiveness, uh, if we see the interactions, that is the positive outcomes of the workforce diversity. So, because uh, as you know, the different people are coming in the organizations from different places and there are different viewpoints, different culture, different languages. So, when they are coming in particular in one location, in particular one organization, so their ideas, thinking, their talents, experiences are merged and so that viewpoints are in the organizations and you see how best you can accommodate them. To maximize the profit, Within the global framework, organization needs to become more diversified. And globally, it has been uh, seen that uh, uh, because people are going to outside different countries, they are uh, migrating the other countries. So uh, it has to be more diversification is required in, uh, in the global sense. It helps them to relate the global customers and increase the market opportunity. Uh, so uh, it is a, actually a, a lot of opportunity. Basically, you can say it is an opportunity. Diversity, in sense, diversity embraces respect and the acceptance of each individual's differences. So, what about the differences that there? Now, the time has come uh, to accept the things and to renovate. I mean, the somehow you have to march, marching the. Things. And at the same time, respect will be there. In acknowledging each individual's unique and can be differences in dimensions of the gender, sexual orientations, the race, then ethnicity, social, economic, and demographic status, physical abilities, regional beliefs, and political ideas and other ideologies. So, um, uh, just uh, you have to see. We have to acknowledge, we acknowledge the all the things. And diversity can be classified as in a three aspects. The workforce diversity, and number two is your behavioral diversity, and three is your uh, cognitive diversity. Now first you have to see the uh, workforce diversity, try to understand. So workforce diversity, basically uh, it includes the similarities and the differences among the people in terms of different culture, background, and then your uh, gender, race, religions, physical abilities, disabilities. So all these things are a part of your uh, workforce diversity. Behavioral diversity, that is encompasses of work styles, thinking styles, learning styles, or is, it is in, talk, in terms of your individual or in the organization point of view. Uh, Things. Communications uh, capacity or communication styles, aspirations, beliefs, value system, changes in attitudes, or expectation of employees. These are on uh, basically a behavioral diversity. So, and third one is your cognitive diversity. It focuses on the diversity on think thinking. It is represented by again. It is a four dimensions. One is the, your perceptive. And your uh, interpretations, heuristics, and predictive models, the different, as per the different models that cognitive uh, diversity are distributed. So it results in a high performance while they're dealing with the complex tasks. Suppose the, when the task is very complex natures, that time your uh, almost all the talents, basically your uh, these dimensions, your uh, it will work. That time, the individual's thinking process will be more important. 
At global level, business leaders are making great efforts to create an atmosphere where the op opinion of each employee are and their suggestions are valued and considered. So, uh, in, the, in the global sense, basically the global leaders they are very much uh, cognitive uh, diversity. They are aware of all these things. Basically, and then only you can have a successful uh, leader, global leaders. And their suggestions are also valued and considered also. Now, inclusions. Now, inclusions, how to include the all these diversity elements specifically? The inclusion is an integral element of diversity as inclusion works for the people who are slightly different. Countries which are much diverse will have to struggle for inclusion of every, everyone because uh, in our India, you can say there are uh, diversification is more. There are different states, there are different languages that are speaking, their lifestyle, their food style, uh, almost, almost everything are in, uh, almost different. So that is very difficult to uh, inclusion of particular everyone is very uh, troublesome. And so, I mean, it's a problem. But those who are uh, uh, country diverse, uh, diverse people are very less maybe the same language speaking, same working style, same food style, or uh, the maintaining in that way, or population is also very less, no, so much diversion is not there. So they, then they are uh, struggling a little bit less. So that's why these countries which are more diverse uh, will have to struggle more for inclusions. Inclusive organizations uh, recruit and retain diversified workforce and leaders to, uh, to represent the uh, radical and the ethnic compositions of the communities they serve. So uh, it is very much essential also. So the inclusiveness of the, basically in the time of recruitment also, they have to uh, careful about these things uh, that during the uh, recruitment time. And uh, also keeping in mind the, what I am hiring the people, that should retain in the uh, company and the organizations and they can also work happily uh, with this, this type of diversified workforce um, uh, conditions. So that has to be uh, clear in mind and that for that maybe the policies has to be uh, redefined and, uh, and uh, have to work in that way. So that ultimate aim is to um, give the uh, maximum uh, uh, they should empower and they should give a maximum product uh, in that situation when the diversity are possible. So some of the characteristics are uh, defined here, characteristics of the inclusive organizations, what should be? That is, it accepts diversity and implements inclusion strategy. That is one of the uh, characteristics. Measurable behavior and competencies. And, uh, competencies. So that should be measurable. Uh, how the efficiency are there, how effectively he is working or not, and what is the behavioral pattern that should be measurable. Inclusive organizations are recruit and retain diversified workforce and leaders to represent the radical uh, and the diversity components of the communities they serve. Another very important and it is very vital thing that is the transparent policies and the procedures. Because uh, you see the when you are again the policy is important uh, where you can, uh, people can uh, force to obey these uh, situations and maintain the procedures. Uh, ultimate aim uh, to diversify uh, to the peoples in particular uh, organization and particular work and jobs. So consistency in practice of interactions with everyone some sort of your uh, interactions are also required so that uh, it should be a consistency today uh, the deficit uh, fight has successfully done but it doesn't mean it will continue so consistency is required practice should be there same practice same thing and uh, if modification is required that also can uh, we look after and learning cultures that is one of the really important diversity um, i mean the uh, inclusions are possible uh, is, uh, when the people are uh, more learners uh, culturally they are 
fit for this place. So only the learn through this learning process only it can it can be achieved. It can be achieved. Also. Characteristics of an inclusive organization are conflict. Conflict resolution systems at all levels. This is pretty much required when you are uh, in a particular organization and whether different people are working, different diversified people are working. So there is a chances of conflict. So that has to be resolution and should have a good uh, 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 CRS uh, uh, systems and all levels, the top level, top management, middle management, and all level, frontliners, workers, all level that resolution system should be there. Whatever the conflicts are, uh, seems to be there or some preventive action has to be taken and actively, uh, I mean, uh, so that uh, uh, can be uh, resolved very quickly. Active participations in community activities, that is also very important. Because when the community activities are there, some picnics or some farewell or get together or party, any community activities are there or some sort of uh, togetherness there. So participation is also important. Then only the uh, cultural uh, meet, uh, the way I can see, then become very familiar to all these things and they have a focus on particular one directions. Vision, mission, and core values are also important. And uh, your um, value of earned privileges, that is uh, also because you have to give some respect and value. Change management is very important. So change management, uh, because by the phenomena, and uh, it is a general phenomena changes. So during changes, um, how fast you are adopting the things, uh, that is uh, to be looked after and to do it very nicely so that uh, it will not be harm to others also. And uh, every employees are satisfied, those who are in different languages or different uh, uh, set up. So everywhere should be in happiness and the satisfaction, job satisfaction is also important. So during the change management, you have to look after all these things and uh, even require some rewards or some of the promotions uh, some of the transfer, uh, redesign the structural structures. So everything are to be done, but keeping in view of the uh, uh, inclusive, inclusiveness to be had, it should be. Uh, uh, considering the all, all the uh, positive aspects. Now, benefits. Suppose the, we can say the organizations are already inclusive. Means, uh, inclusive now is done, I right? mean, it has come completely. So, what will be the benefit? So, benefit will be first things you have the job satisfaction. Job, job, job satisfaction will be had. Uh, lower turnover because the attrition level will be less. People are not leaving the company because they are happy here and a lot of career development, growth, everything are here and culturally they are adjusted. So, they will not never go to other companies. And the production definitely, if the employees are happy uh, in all respect, so definitely the production of the TP also to be high. High employee moral, moral also to be boosted up. They can proudly say, I am working in particular this company and uh, I'm happy there. Uh, I'm due respect, I'm getting the due respect. So, really, also it will be happy. Improved creativity and innovations. So, uh, stress level will be less. There is a no cultural difference, what difference, no, everywhere is a, uh, in a good environment situations. So people will start the creation, creativity uh, space will be there. Their mind will be enough space to think the new things. So it will improve the uh, and problem solving uh, resolutions also they can do it. Uh, your vision is possibly faster. And uh, most of the case decision will be uh, right directions. So increase operational flexibility. And in this case also the operational flexibility is also to be uh, good. Uh, if it is an uh, inclusion of these different state people, different cultures people. And during the transferring also you not feel any uh, problems because they are not stick in particular one locations. They can, they can spread out uh, uh, your without uh, you, within your company or uh, external, externally, you can post somewhere. You can give a new assignment to them. They will be happy to keep it. So that type of facility will be there. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh, that approach will be bet better employees. So, better employee will be more better, more uh, uh, best, best opportunity. So, their skill also to be increased. So, better employees in the sense of in all respect, they have a good, talented, skilled, and they are behaviorally, culturally, everything. So, better employees are defined in the future. So, that benefits uh, can come uh, from the uh, inclusive uh, organizations. Now, definition uh, the, the, the World Health uh, Organization define uh, your uh, disability as well. As you know, in our uh, globally, and some of the countries are more the disabilities are more. So uh, that uh, uh, huge resources that manpower are isolated or one of here, they are not uh, developed so much. So that they should be also come in the mainframe. They have to come out in the main mainstreams. So disabilities are the umbrella term covering the uh, impediments, activity and limitations. And participation of the station. There is a lot of limitations also there. They cannot participate a uh, lot of things due to uh, physical ability and some other reasons. So thus disability is a complex phenomenon uh, reflecting and interactions between the features of a person's body and features of the society in which and uh, as, uh, as a large you have to see that how to um, accommodate them. That is a challenge. Now, issues and challenges. Uh, any, you see, any work, there should be a, some challenges will be there, definitely, without some issues, or you can see the problems. So, what are the challenges? Persons with disabilities have leaks of being passed over in the competitions for jobs or venues or livelihood. Because a uh, lot of support systems should be there. They have to more affections, more care uh, are to be needed for them. So there are several sets of challenges uh, which hampers the rights of the disabilities to um, uh, to which the, some of the measures are like this or inadequate access to education and training. Inadequate uh, access to education that is one of the uh, problem because you cannot give a, uh, the training uh, properly. And education is also you cannot put in a main streamlines. The different way of different way of education is required. So social and psychological uh, behavior uh, barriers is also there. Social and psychological barriers because they are not accepted in. Uh, wholeheartedly by the social systems and moreover uh, uh, in socially they don't much have time for that to look after special tax force or special team should be there to look after them to bring in to bring in and they can come out and they can put in the uh, main friends so discrimination in hiring and promotions by the employees that is also one of the issues because multinational companies or some of the companies they are sometimes reluctant to hire the uh, disabilities uh, uh, persons because they are uh, they are not productive as like as uh, others. So uh, they are looking after the productivity and the profitability. So that's why sometimes they are reluctant to things. But however, lot of initiatives are uh, coming up, lot of policies, lot of guidelines by the government side and the private sector also. There are a lot of uh, rule and regulation has changed so that uh, they can also, uh, as a human being, they can also accommodate. accommodate. So that discrimination is now slowly, whether the, depletion, that the, the, the discrimination level was high, that now just a uh, little bit closer to uh, less, less things. So now uh, some of the quota, some of the reservations are there for that, for the handicapped and some. Uh, Disability policies are there. So, slowly it is now uh, in the promotion policy, also in the time of hiring, some percentage of uh, yeah, recruiting and hiring the persons. So, this is another one of the challenges because you see the inclusion of the workforce, that type of uh, additional persons are coming. 
the how to cope up the situation is also one of the issues and challenges uh, in respect of the disability. So issues and challenges, another part is the inadequate accessibility to workplace because sometimes they are not able to uh, accessible in the workplace. Maybe some special arrangement is required. Other barriers faced by disabilities job seekers because it is another barriers, physical and the communication barriers also there. That historical behaviors also lot of uh, value systems are there in the social. Attitudinal behaviors, well, attitude is not there, so it was okay, no problem. He is also my brother, my sister, so come on, come, I can also look after. Maybe due to uh, due to shortage of time sort of willingness uh, lagging by the uh, some of the policies uh, are not um, uh, supporting the things so maybe so many reasons are there so uh, it can include uh, that is a uh, things a problem so this is also another challenge uh, then uh, issues of the, the attitudes that is also there and stereotypes another uh, problem the inclusion in the workforce is Workplace policies and the procedures we have you know, that policies and procedures are not um, up to the mark. Education and training is also additional there. Attitudinal uh, behavior for the disabilities applicants and include that is uh, an environment also, an infrastructure also. So all together, you see there are a lot of areas uh, to be uh, changed, a lot of areas to be exercised, and it is needed uh, uh, for the. Uh, the formulation of the policies and where the some provisions should be there so that there are, this type of uh, you know, things can be accommodated. Disabilities can be accommodated. So now another uh, things are very important. Uh, this is a gender uh, diversity. Now, as you know, there are um, uh, additional lot of uh, uh, people are in the world. Uh, uh, it is not a, it is very good percentage of the other countries also. So that people are, should not be neglected and there should become also a uh, fair enough so that they can also have a uh, mainstream, they can also achieve the things, uh, they can also participate in the uh, development of the organization purpose and relation purposes. Because a lot of talents, a lot of um, your opportunities are also there. So, so that should also be allowed. So gender diversity in the organizational perspective is not only limited to equal treatment and acknowledgement of both males and females work at workplace, but uh, it also includes the transgenders. I mean, it is no, so that is, uh, it is a uh, minority, but sexually the minorities of people are there. They are also to be uh, coming, come to do, you know, to also allow to them to organize in that particular. Uh, participation of the work, workforce. So that is another, the gender diversity uh, is falling under the gender diversities. The global economy moves diversity to the top of the agenda. Another thing, the global the economy are moving. Uh, so they are also, their contributions also to be taken care of and uh, they are allowed to participate uh, um, uh, in the development of the uh, organizations. So this is one of the top agenda basically. So there is a growing demand for equivalent uh, authority for these workers and other groups like uh, ladies, uh, gays, bisexual and transgenders. So uh, now slowly in the, in the education field also, then the service and in the social media now slowly it is the acceptable. Some of the countries, a lot of rules are there. In our India is also a lot of rules are uh, changes and now they are also participating in the exam in any competitive exam open jobs everywhere they are allowed some of the percentages are keeping for that so that is the way slowly uh, our, uh, it is, uh, is going on the process is going on uh, and so that 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 workforce can be um, uh, we can take their potentiality uh, in it, um, for the development of the organization as well as for the country so inclusion with the uh, social uh, reference to women, the barriers to the inclusion, the, this is one of the uh, glass ceilings. It means the glass ceilings is nothing. Uh, even though a lot of policies are there, a lot of rule is there, everybody knows, yes, there is working as a good woman, uh, some of the, uh, they are performing the very good, but still 
some uh, some things are hidden it is a hidden something uh, still during the promotional time or uh, in the posting or in the top level or you have to relocate some of the uh, manpower and so that can uh, again need some some relaxation of the resistance is coming in the mind no you should say no way not no way so that is the way some of the uh, things are there this is called the glass ceiling barriers to inclusions even though you are telling the glass ceiling the means suppose you just see you can see it, but you are not doing anything else. means some of the hidden things are in the mind so that has to be see and uh, some rational rational way you have to see it. barriers should be uh, open out i mean barriers should not be there so this is one of the uh, area uh, challenging or can say challenge and this is a part of your gender diversity for us yes. obstacles and the barriers arise due to what are the reasons for that why the barriers and the obstacles are coming up that you have to this resistance to women's leadership because men cannot uh, work under the women leadership sometimes some of the ego problems or whatever the things are traditionally uh, it has happened uh, then leadership uh, then family demands some of the uh, family okay no women cannot go for the work gents can only work that that the family is demand because the child care and other things are there so a lot of uh, ambiguities are there and uh, a pay inequality some of the cases the women are not paying the equal pay um, because it is the assumptions the management are saying he is not working the extra duty is only eight hours it's so much evening he has she has taken so that is the way sometimes the pay equality is also there again it is a not written forms but unofficially uh, they are paying less money um, uh, less experiences in the workforce sometimes it does happen their experiences are less and the workforce so how can the give the same salary same salary so that is a lot of question mark is there part time workforce again the part time workforce the lady, uh, woman cannot be participate more because a lot of rule and regulations are there uh, evening after 6 pm you cannot force to uh, any woman to uh, to stay in the office because if if is if she share lot of protection lot of safety uh, arrangement of the vehicles convenience lot of things are there so some of the companies are avoiding in the uh, part time workforce for these things the gender role orientation is also another uh, obstacle uh, sexual harassment is also another part of the your barriers because that side a woman force uh, cannot you put in the uh, particular position you have to be you have to judge it where the uh, in the corporate uh, things and where the that type of uh, i mean uh, chances of or prompts to uh, sexual activities or sometimes can be restricted so harassment can be can be restricted this is the area to be decided for the for before the putting to the particular uh, posting or uh, selection of the uh, work it's lot of uh, i mean the exercise to be uh, done so that is a one of the basically these obstructions state you cannot do it lot of analysis you have to do it in we have a uh, human posting specifically so another thing uh, the syndrome is there could be suppose if the um, leaders are uh, women it has seen maybe the bosses bosses also you know more that uh, maybe his way of tone is like this not changes not acceptable by the uh, men so lot of ambiguities are there so anyway so what this uh, instability and uh, in the floor a lot of uh, barriers are there so that we have to talk now already uh, how to now question is how to overcome the barriers that is important obstacles are there challenges are there and now coming to uh, how to overcome the barriers professional networking is also important guidance of the mentor and the sponsors self promotions helping drop out women it means to say suppose uh if required in your office there are maybe uh 50 50 ratio wise men and women they are working but when they are in the leave or something or some maternity leave or something so uh, 
uh, some network should be there so that from the home itself or even in the remote locations they can perform the work and that's why they should be uh, uh, developed in such a way that the professional network should be there where they can interact with the uh, work uh, even though they are in the different locations and the guidance of the mentor and the sponsor is also important so mentoring the them uh, so that uh, they are and self promotion self promotion is also important so helping dropouts those who are uh, when uh, taking a uh, leave for one year to a year due to some family reasons due to some health conditions or due to some uh, maternity leave or something so again they try to rejoin the particular this company so helping them uh, to again the uh, that procedure that uh, again they have to uh, call them to join the company so that is the way you can minimize the, the barrier of the things. If you feel that the good worker, a good uh, performers, and then you should not lose this, uh, this uh, particular that employee. You have to have a contact with them and uh, bring, the, bring them in the company again. So that type of attitude should be there. So then we can overcome the barriers. So women's empowerment. Women's empowerment is also very important because empowering the women will be giving an additional advantage. So uh, focus on the attracting, the evolving, and the advancing the women and under uh, populations by removing the obstructions. Gaining uh, stakeholders by creating the inclusive leaders and developing events for the group. By empowering the women, they are expanding the opportunities for women in the organizations for their group. Here actually I just want to add something. It has been observed and it has been surveyed also. The particular the countries where the women force are more, I mean they are uh, participating more and more in the, in the workforce and they are participating in the developing the organizations and developing the countries. Economical growth will be uh, higher in particular these countries. And because the sources of income will be more and uh, they can uh, livelihood their uh, cost of living, uh, they can levise, they can give a more uh, good education, they can, um, uh, they have uh, some power, purchasing power will be more, but the one, they, they can fulfill their demands. So both, I think, uh, there is a completely uh, one of the situations and the, from the home fronts and from the company and organization point, and as well as the, our world, the country will be developed very fast. So that's why the um, workmen and women's participation uh, is very expanding for them and empowering the women is very much necessary uh, in a, for the um, development of the country and development of the nation as such. So um, that's a good, as definitely, if they are not uh, accommodating, in the, they are not pursuing in the, uh, in the development of the our country, then it is a slowdown or will be slowdown. So, transgender again, uh, the LGBT in short, the thing, this is a uh, Lebanese, uh, gay, and bisexuals. And then this one in short is the LGBT that people are in the workforce they, to be included, the inclusion is required, and uh, the diversity initiatives should be there and are being addressed in the organization more often uh, now than ever before. Now it has been. Uh, open, I think everybody knows, and they are also participating in this. The lack of LGBT uh, supportiveness instead reduces the size of the talent pool uh, available for recruitment. So, for instance, you are uh, in the pooling, I mean, I mean, the talent pooling systems, maybe some of the talents are already there, um, which are not in cash, I mean, were not in, in particular organizations. So, this is a losing, losing part. So, we have to be careful and we have to take their participation, their importance, their, um, uh, their importance and their competency and their, their talent has to be um, uh, give, basically give them the opportunity to perform the things. So, while the major challenges to be studied for the LGBT movement include the lack of an umbrella on the organizations, lack of understanding within the LGBT community and the lack of unity. Um, uh, due to part because of the class differences that has been seen. 
So now coming uh, to uh, introduction uh, by diversity management, I want to see how to manage you now. Uh, what are the things, what are the meaning of the diversity that also we have to understand how the, the sources of the uh, problems and uh, everything we have discussed. Now we have to see the how to manage the so how diversity management is very important. The diversity management refers to the organizational action. The organization has to take it, aim to promote the greater inclusions of the employees. So inclusions are indirectly the integral part of the uh, diversity management. So inclusion has been required as well. So that is how that that managing the things are basically the part of the diversity management. So diversity at workplace can ensure the advantageous environment at work with the benefit of innovations, improvement, moral, teamwork, harmony amongst the workers. So um, uh, from the knowledge management point of view, especially for the diversity management point of view, you have to ensure that the, the, that environment is uh, good and uh, benefit. Uh, you can get a lot of innovations. Improved, uh, it will be improved the moral and team as a team. When the people are working there as a team, there will be a harmony among the workers. You have to ensure it. That's the basically the diversity management yeah, from the organization side. You have to do the responsibility are again the part of your HRM and human resources management department. They have to look up the things and that type of the, that opportunity facilities, that environment, creation of these environments are the part of your. Benefits from the diversity. The diversity is the workforce bring many benefits to the company. As a whole, it is known to create competitive advantage for the business. And meaning it allows them to different, differentiate themselves from their competitors. Means competitive advantage, again, this is nowadays very common word, competitive advantage, means your company, your workers are uh, skilled enough, they can compete to uh, any things. I and mean, from the business point of view, from the work point of view, and they are behavioral point of view, culturally. So everything they are so much confident, and uh, and uh, your uh, computers uh, to compete. Your computers are other company compared to other company. They have a better, so better uh, work point of better employees. So these situations are uh, create. Uh, the benefit for the if we have a uh, proper diversity management, then it can be happen. So fresh opinions are coming up that enhance the company culture, company efficiency, employee innovations. All these uh, features will automatically come up when we have a good diversity management. Then levels of diversities. There is um, surface level diversity, deep level diversity. There are so many. Um, Areas are there where we can diversity in the surface area. Basically, in this case, the age, color, sex, uh, gender, balance, visibility, and physical sizes of these things are in surface area. We can this, that's the name is surface area. So that is the area. Uh, the, a few examples are given. That is where the diversity is there. Deep level uh, diversities. That is a non-observing quality. Some of the things we cannot observe. Support the emotions. And uh, your um, uh, your talent, some of the hidden potentiality, potential. So all these are deeply you have to observe it and it should be come out. So non-observing qualities, not apparent uh, features, are included in the deep level diversities. Now work workplace uh, discrimination. Now we are talking about the discriminations. So discriminations in the workplace is based on the certain and the worker when the employee is uh, treated unfavorably. So discrimination, how it has happened? Because, because when the employees are, if you are not treated and some uh, gender-wise discriminations are there, sexuality, uh, some discrimination are there, the race, some of the uh, region-wise, some discriminations are there, no one is from the north, he's from the south. So that type of discrimination are there. Pregnancy and maternity, or this is also sometimes the leave is uh, too much. People are saying, no, it should not be. So he is not working, but enjoying the uh, leave. So a lot of uh, ambiguity is difficult uh, discrepancy are there. So, or disability in the case cases. 
so some sort of discriminations in the uh, there it will be uh, happen so knowing a difference that uh, one employee is more qualified than other helps in making hiring decisions so there is also another thing has happened because you know that person is very qualified and very important even though at the time of hiring the decision has changed so that should not that discrimination should not be there it should be a proper and transparent should be there so right person should be uh, appointed and uh, for the right jobs so discrimination can take many shapes and its effect can be very as organization context and personal biasing of its members so this is all the area or uh, you can say the area of corruption you can say the discriminations what are the way you can say that should be stopped various reasons behind uh, raise of the diversity why the this uh, the uh, company has to do to, uh, basically the why the it is focus most of the globally most of the companies they are in focus on these things globalizations because the because with the country to country now we are in a common village where our to whole world uh, we are in a one village now so because of that that uh, it is very much required for the diversity management is very much needed another thing is migration people are uh, coming from different state different countries and they are uh, settled there they have to work so adaptations their uh, the policy and they should have a uh, proper uh, support so that's why it, it is required so because of the migrations it is also one of the reasons so it is needed diversity management women workers are now increasing as i told you because uh, they should be also in parallel they have to work uh, they have to contribute in uh, this way so we have proper uh, proper area proper environment proper support everything has to be given so uh, so to allow the work uh, women workers we should have a good diversity management systems so aging is population is another aspect because the now the retired 60 and above old age people are um, more and more so how to accommodate them how to give them some small work or their um, post uh, retirement or in the last stages in the life how they um, survive the things so all these part also to be seen uh, in the company rule and regulations should be there so that the post retirement how they can be uh, allowed to work or what the way they can involve so that part is also a uh, diversity management part is also there political diversity diversity is also there particularly a um, lot of uh, things are going on value system their regional uh, differences their like things are there that is the area is also to be uh, streamlined meaning basically in uh, uh, to favor of the country to favor of the particular state or to the organizations so we have to politically also have to uh, see in the positive sense basically in the positive sense the political diversity has to be in the right direction so so that they can also uh, participate in the uh, good management part then attracting diverse uh, employees this is of the implementing so implementing the the part is there the strategy should be there so that uh, we can attract the diverse uh, employees so that they can should come and join this particular company and they uh, for before that you have to prepare for that because your environment culturally everything has developed now you have to invite that to attract automatically to uh, employees will start attracting and to uh, uh, willing to join this uh, organization so they can also participate in this development process selections so and uh, career development Uh, retaining the employees, so all these aspects are very important in the, uh, in, this, um, in the considering the implementing stages. So that strategy should be there so that can um, that can be uh, in proper way. Now, positive approaches to work uh, behaviors. So first of all, uh, you have to give us some of the positive approach. so there are different positive approaches to work behavior such as spiritual intelligence and emotional intelligence now you see so far we have you know the emotional intelligence the ei in short but now the si is also a very important part another component that is uh, spiritual intelligence because you see 
uh, emotional intelligence is temporary because okay you can get support okay no problem i am i am helping you i'm with you no problem so that way you can console particular the situations uh but you can uh, give it some of the support systems fine but in after that he has to do is that power he should be enough power to tackle the situations if the things are coming so that approach is another approach is from the spiritually he should be strong enough means i say um, spiritually he has to be strong enough you are um, willing for the uh, human what is your basic uh, purpose of the life you came here basically to contribute to the things and to serve the people so only the human uh, the human can only help the humans so that type of uh, spirituality uh, are to be uh, also required that intelligence you have to work for so that's why uh, you can reduce your conflict uh, eagerness uh, desireness demand and um, aggressions um, anger that all these things you can be uh, come down so that's why only emotional intelligence is not sufficient at the same time you have to add it some spiritual intelligence also will be required spiritually also also has to be strong enough then only you can uh, uh, you can uh, go for the positive things always don't think the uh, basically one of the things one is the type of people are given another type of people are takers so most of the you can distribute in that way whole whole, whole world human nature so some of the people are always thinking they calculating logically why i what i do i will gain it how it will be there i am working hard work so i should be this much their thing this post is super so i should have a car i should have a house that so always uh, um, take up means always yes demanding uh, should be there should be there. some people are different they are thinking the right way they are thinking i should be give not take up. i will provide the things i should be a good entrepreneur i have to earn the money for the others i have Uh, create in such a way so that other other human should be more happy so this is a different uh, concept and idea like this so spiritual intelligence is very important so these approaches help to maintain the optimal optimism optimism is uh, considering as a key component of the modern positive uh, psychology because of, uh, you have not optim- optimized yourself then uh, not adaptability is not in the mind acceptable is not in the mind then it will be very problems so optimism is defined as the power of positive positive thinking you should have a uh, power you have to uh, mentally you are very strong you know uh, uh, emotion will be there no problem but at the same time you should have a uh, power to uh, direction give a direction to the uh, in the positive directions thinking your thinking always should be in the positive though uh, so this is the uh, part of your positive approach is uh, very important now Uh, optimization in the workplace, as I said, the optimization is a positive force and contributes to the high moral and the aspirations of the workforce and actually the motivated to work in leaders and the stretching the goals. Uh, other way, uh, we can say also the optimization is both motivated and motivating, as the desirable characteristics of achievement, health, and preservations. Preservations makes external. unstable and specific attributions of people or persons bad event and it's linked with positive outcomes such as occupational success uh, so optimism is a very positive force in workplace so this is the important part of the now some of the applications we can discuss some of the application uh, examples are half or full empty as you know the glass glass of water a half a glass of water you can your perception you can see uh, half water glass half water is there and other half is empty so but other way you can say uh, half water is full i i get a uh, half full half full uh, water i am uh, consuming i am happy so half empty rather than oh, you are looking in the empty part you see the how much you have gained how the half part is you have this is enough so that type of uh, positive approach should be there you are already gain at least half of the glass water you have balance half will be achieved no problem but if you start thinking half of the water is missing half of the water in the glass is empty 
so that will be a negative approaches so always you have to see the positive approaches so there are so many uh, applications out there happiness and weight gain is also another yoga and other things are there lot of intuitors are there uh, if we require the most of the companies now they are hiring and uh, consulting with the some yoga expert or some of the uh, weight gain programs is going on as uh, for happiness things and which is really uh, good a good approach for happiness benefits of the happiness and the weight gain so happiness uh, objectives are uh, for subject this objectives but happiness is the overall feeling of the well being that uh, one must cultivate and maintain so main things ultimately how we, we can achieve the happiness again it is a, your spiritual intelligence your spiritual intelligence will trigger you that uh, you should be happy uh, that uh, things are coming up automatically in your mind which i have you should be feel happy tomorrow i will gain more day after tomorrow i will gain more by this by the process of this work or something so today what you have what the experience you have what the your job conditions uh, money monetary everything you should always feel happy and contribute that is, that is the way of is a continuous process in the mind you have to cultivate things you have to feel that way yeah i am Generally, the words happiness and well-being well interchangeably because the motion of the subject well-being. So, HWB is one word is used in research literature as a substitute for the term happiness. So, happiness are basically you are see when you are well-being, your body is performing well, you are taking good diet. There is no medically you are not not unfit. Your your concentration is you are already focused in the work. and things are moving nicely so then definitely you will be happy so it is correlated because your body and mind should be in one place and focus on the particular concentrate on the one one point if it is a divide 180 degree divisions then it is a problem your mind is something your, your body is saying something so then it will be uh, create a some lot of unhappiness so mentioning the subjective uh, well being and the, the number of uh, theories are there uh, The, the uh, zero sum theory suggests that happiness is the between uh, cyclical and happy and unhappy periods uh, follow each other. There is a lot of other lot of definition out there for well-being purposes. So positive approaches to work behavior that one is the serial thinking, another associative thinking, and um, unintuitive uh, thinking. There are so many boxes out there where the intelligence uh, your Uh, there, I, EQ, IQ, IQ, all are measured. There are all are testing procedures. How to measure the things? The approaches are in the right direction or not? There's a lot of things are are defined here. Then, a natural bias of the spiritual intelligence, and uh, it has some of the testing procedure there. The brain capacity, uh, brain circuitry is all are in medical terms. So a lot of uh, things are there. Positive approaches to work behavior, emotional intelligence, EI is the summative of the abilities, uh, compare competencies, the skills, and collection of the knowledge and part of scope of the life expectancy. So emotional intelligence model are there, though there are some of the models you can uh, test it. So a uh, lot of medical uh, testing procedures are there, how to bring, to synchronize the things. And uh, you can measure the things, some sort of uh, your synchronizing the brains and other activities. So also you can lot of through this uh, software, so through the different instruments can give you the part of the brain, uh, part of functioning of these things. So this is the way you can improve it. So here some of the uh, positive approaches to work will be self and social. You see, first things are awareness is very very important. Then awareness, then ability or the self management. When you are aware of the things, you manage it yourself. So, and then other way in the social side, you see the social awareness are there, empathy or something, and uh, how to manage the uh, relationship also management. That also you have to see. There is some sort of your uh, self and social uh, diagrams are there, flowchart type. That way you can you can also uh, exercise the things. So you have to uh, calculate emotionally uh, your self awareness you have or not. Your accuracy, your assessment are good or not? 
and then self confidence so this is the area you have to select it and socially you have to see your the service sort of orientations right this is not what the rational awareness so this when you are aware of all the things both the way self and social then you can see the management parts implementation or regulations part first you have to recognize the thing the information part is there there is the through the awareness and then finally the regulations that is the self and management part so okay i think uh, now this is the way it is uh, now complete uh, thank you very much for patiently having this thing so we have to cover all the so namaste